So once you're diagnosed with glaucoma, I think it is important to follow with a glaucoma specialist. And I'm not saying this to <laughs> sort of support my own role. I really think just being diagnosed with glaucoma is not everything because it is a glimpse into the future. You want to have the right crystal ball. You want to have the right progression analysis. And that you can only do with the latest equipment that uses software to very sensitively detect and uh, predict progression. That is not available in average eye practice because this is very expensive equipment. Um, once someone is considered stable, um, then those patients can go back to their eye doctors, but it's still important to do that at least once a year data collection, even if you are stable, to make sure that that is true. The other recommendation, once treatment hasn't been initiated, we all are creatures of habit and we uh, don't like to take medications. Initially, the compliance, the adherence to these regimens, drop usage is very good but then it quickly drops off. Um, it's surprising how many people actually have medication available continuously at one year after starting a therapy that's as easy as taking one drop at night. Um, for instance, in a study uh, by Friedman um, from Hopkins, at one year, only 10% had their eye drops available continuously at one year, and that's an eye drop that has no systemic side effects and is only taken once a day. Uh, overall, um, in other studies, you see that 30% only use their drops, and it's awful. But my advice would be make your treatment independent of compliance. And how do you do this? Well, you go non-medical. You choose maybe selective laser trabecular plasty, for instance, for uh, mild glaucoma, which is slightly more effective in lowering pressure to start with, but more importantly, it um, takes the eye drops out of the equation when done in time you don't have the adherence issues anymore, you're not reminded of your disease every day when you take that drop. Um, and it's also cheaper, so um, that's good for the healthcare system. In a similar fashion, performing a minimally invasive glaucoma surgery early on has just the same benefits. If you address a pressure problem early on, you might never need eye drops or you might reduce your drop dependence greatly if you already take eye drops. So being proactive and tackling the problem almost in an aggressive manner I think is important.